In this video, we're going to talk about how you customize the art and really get more out of it. Um, I'm going to use Adobe Flash uh, Professional CC 2014. It was just released very recently, just a couple days ago. One of the awesome things about this is it exports to the SVG format, which is great because uh, that's what EasySketch Pro uses. And so, but let's go ahead and first look at just doing some simple customizations. Now, of course, you can take any of the modules and just import them as they are. But let's just imagine that we're going to go ahead and we're going to make something for a presentation. And so I'm going to quickly do something. Let's say I want to point out, um, I want to have something that points out some some stuff inside of my uh, some points. And so I'm going to take this little guy down here and I'm going to make a new file. And so let's say that I want to uh, have a slide that's going to work. Uh, in other videos, I've talked about using the, um, the format to use with uh, Video Maker or with um, uh, Video Maker FX um, and Easy Sketch Pro. And really, you know, I like to just kind of really, since it's vector, you can, you just want to do something that is roughly uh, a typical, um, you know, presentation size. But I'm going to go ahead and just take this for now and I'm going to just um, bring this in and I'm going to modify. I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip him and then let's just size him up and everything. Let's just imagine that he's we're going to be making some points in a presentation. So I just plump, plunk him there. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and just grab a few more pieces. I'm going to just go into the business icons module here, for example. And, and let's say I'm going to talk about, you know, how... I can use uh, awesome whiteboard videos to make tons of money. And so I'm going to copy this thing. I think I edited into it. Maybe I didn't. But um, let's go ahead and, and pop that baby in here. And we're going to size that up a little bit. I grouped him. And say, you know, boom, you know, make huge money. And I'll, maybe I'd put some text here. But for now, I'm just getting a few pieces. And, um, and another little thing that you can do is you got we got these basic shapes here down here, I think. Uh, where are they? Basic shapes, okay. And I have checkboards and I also have these circles and what I could do is combine them to do a nice little bullet, right? I could do uh, or a box, for example. So let's say I do a box. And I come over here and drop those in here and I just can kind of overlap them and do a checkbox art. So I can even, you know, mix and match and make my own stuff, you know, and stuff like that. So I go ahead and get this on the stage better. And I'm going to zoom in on that guy and just do a little bit of tweaking on the sizing, right? Okay. So um, that looks pretty good. So um, that, now I can just group them together and come back out. And so now I have, you know, I can, I can duplicate that out for the three points that I want to make, right? You know? and then add in my own text. And so real quickly, I have this art that's uh, you know ready to go. I just add some text and I can make an awesome slide for a whiteboard video presentation. Um, and of course, if you want to do some very simple stuff, you can of course edit into it and you can change the color of the art, for example. Um, I don't know why it's selecting everything there at the moment, but let's just come in here and let's say I want to just change this dollar sign and um, I can go in here and I can get the green and then the bucket and paint that green and uh, I guess it's grouped for uh, I don't have a choice. Oh, it's connected. I didn't see that. So I can I can even disconnect that. I can go ahead and say, you know, I don't want you together. So um, and one there's a bunch of different ways that you can do that. But uh, one way that you can do is just uh, break it apart. I've got it on a, on a layer, on a layer here. And I'm going to add a layer, okay? And I'm going to Control Shift V it into place, and then I can uh, basically get to where I just have only the dollar sign. I'm just going to select it right there. Oops, I think I, yeah, I had both of them selected. I'm going to turn that off temporarily. I deleted that. I'm just going to I'm not going to be too fancy here. I would obviously do a better job. But for now, I'm going to cut that, and then I can go back in. And I have this other one, original one there, and I can make it, you know, black. And suddenly, uh, you know, I just have the dollar sign green. 
I can do stuff like that as much as I want. So you can change colors, you can size, you, know, you can zoom in, you can do all kinds of whatever you can do inside of Flash and Illustrator. Uh, you know, you can go ahead and, and customize these artists, just the raw images. Um, one little tip, we did include the, um, the AI files, but I find it easier just to go and import the SVG files into Illustrator. And so now, again, this does export to uh, um, SVG format. And I'll just go ahead and show that, you know, so you can go to the export now. This is brand new and select SVG. And so I'm going to do that real quick, do just a demo. Okay. And then I can open up Illustrator. Uh, it does ask me this kind of stuff. I, I pretty much ignore this because um, here's, let's, let me show you something when we're in Illustrator. If I open that file up, in Illustrator, here's the demo file. Uh, I didn't add zero. I mean, O. And if you select this art right now, you can go up here, and you can see that it's it's grouped. And we need to not have it grouped. It won't work with um, Easy Sketch Pro that way. So you need to go ahead and group. You can hold down the Shift and Command, uh, yeah, Shift and Command key, and hit G a couple times. I just do it two or three times. And then check again, and once it says it, the ungroup is grayed out, you're good to go. Now you can save as and export that out. I'm going to go ahead and this time add the O there. Uh, oh, my, my, there we go, my O key on my keyboard is a little sticky. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and save, and there now I can import that uh, bad boy into uh, Easy Sketch Pro. So I'll even just go ahead and do that. And let's just place that on the stage real quick. And there we go. There we have my thing. I'm going to go ahead and double click in there and kind of size that down to fit onto the stage. Oops, I'm moving it, not sizing it. It's a little tricky. I was holding down the shift key there. So let's get that into position there, and then once I have that, I can, I can see it drawing and so forth. All right, but uh, and th that's another for another video. But uh, it was, it's only it's by default it's set to only a few seconds. And so if you wanted to see it drawing it out longer, you need to add more time. But um, one of the things that, to show you here is if we if I double click on this and hit delete. Let's look at what happens if I don't do that process of going into Illustrator and ungrouping. So if I click here and click that first one and then open that, it's going to give me a warning. It says image cannot be added if the image is an SVG file. Please make sure that there are no groups or transforms. And so that's what you got to do to avoid that. All right, well, have fun with that. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. You can just, the possibilities are absolutely unlimited.